<laughs> oh, welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with Far Cry New Dawn on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and we are playing on the hard ass difficulty. So, what we're going to be doing today is, I think, what we're going to do is we are going to make some progress up this way towards Nick Rye. We're going to take over a couple of outposts. I think this might be an outpost here. We're also going to probably take over this outpost, if I remember correctly. And I think there might also be another one around here as well. Like maybe it's below me. Yeah, we're probably going to take over this outpost as well. And then we're going to give all of them back to the highway men. And that should give me probably about five, 600 uh, ethanol maybe, because they're only rank one. And then once we've done that, I think we're going to head up to Nick Rye. So first things first, let's set a marker over here and let's go and have a look and see if this is actually a uh, outpost. Because I think it is, because I know there's three of them in a line. But before we do this, if you come over here, this is one of the collectibles in the game. We collected a bunch of photos back at Prosperity. And what you pretty much have to do is you read this little uh, bit of lore right here. And then you have to hold up a photo and you have to match it with... Uh, the old place, you see? Because we've we've been here before in Far Cry 5, this place with the uh, mammoths, you know, and we've come here and we've had a battle with people before. So uh, <laughs> this is uh, like a, a Far Cry 5 versus Far Cry New Dawn kind of picture thing that you can do. There's only nine of them, but it's pretty nice to do, you know? But yeah, we're going to go and take over a bunch of um, outposts very quickly, hopefully. And then once that's done, we will proceed to go and rescue Nick Fly. The Nick Fly mission is very quick, so we won't have to worry about that mission taking too long. But yeah, I'm not sure how much ammo I've got. I look pretty alright at the moment. But yeah, I do apologise about the last video. It didn't go very well. I pretty much was running through the forest for about 25 minutes of the video because I was trying to find Nana uh, to unlock her as a character. And then things sort of ended up going a bit dodgy. <laughs> So I uh, didn't end up unlocking her, and then uh, I decided to do the Sharky mission instead, and then that decided to lead me even further into the forest, and it just ended up being a lot of running in that video, and I couldn't find a bloody vehicle. <laughs> I think this woman's going to tell me about an outpost. Nice on top of an old trailer park. Then the yeah, 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 come on, come on, I already know. It's going to be that one up there, isn't it? There we go. A perk of taking over these outposts is it also um, it also gives you like normally a scout or something inside the outpost will give you a location, you know. That's why it's probably good to buy the maps because if you buy all the maps, even though that requires ethanol, then uh, if you if you're missing any like scout uh, any um, like guns for hire or anything like that or any like outpost locations, every time you go to an outpost, they'll pretty much only tell you about those things, you know, because you've already uh, unlocked everything else you know but we obviously we ain't going to buy any of the maps because I'm not going to be wasting my precious ethanol anytime soon ah <laughs> oh, right I think oh I know this one I spent quite a lot of time here yesterday because I kept messing up I think there's only one alarm when it's rank one. Oh dear I don't have any like ranged weapon just yet Okay, we managed to get a headshot, even though we missed the first shot. I would prefer to do this without being seen. But the chances of that happening are pretty low. I mean, I don't really want you to lead them to me, Timber. If we take down the alarm, there's only going to be one, because it's a rank one location. Oh, there we go. I did it. That was a good shot. If I send Timber in, he should be alright. Because that's one thing you can do. It's better to do it with, like, Horatio the ball. But if you send them in, they get spotted. Everybody starts attacking them, especially if they're, like, a highly ranked uh, gun for hire. Then, uh, whilst everyone's aiming at them, you can stealthily take down everyone. And it still counts as you took it over with, not without being seen. Oh, look, he leveled up. Good job, Timber. I don't think we've been seen yet. Oh, that was lucky. 
Oh, here we go, here we go. That might be the last person. They've got a shield, so it would be better if Timber can take him down. There we go. Once you've knocked them on the floor, you know they're dead. There we go. Brilliant. Mwah. God, I don't think we've done any of the outposts that well. It's probably because I've spent a lot of time with this one. <laughs> so I, I knew where everybody was hanging around, you know. As they rank up, though, they do sometimes get additional troops. So there will be even more there. And then they also occasionally change their locations around a little bit. But... Normally they're in the roughly the same area, you know, so if you've done it a few times, you'll know exactly where they all are and it's really easy. Oh, here we go. This dude, this dude, this dude might tell me where Nana is. Oh, no, it's Herc. I don't care about Herc. Lovely. It seems like, though, every time you, uh, like, manage to take over these places without being seen. I don't know if this is only if you do it when it's like a top a top rank place, like a rank 3 uh, outpost, but it seems like every time you do it without being seen, you get a bunch of perk points. It's a weird way of levelling up, because you do like challenges and stuff to get the perk points. So what do I want to do? I guess uh, the takedowns are alright, but I don't really use them that much, to be honest. Let's have a look at, at some of the more important things. More ammo is probably good. Yeah, I think this is probably something we should definitely get a couple of. Okay. I think we'll get the... Uh, no, what? Uh, should we get that? We're going to get the wingsuit because it's pretty useful. And I uh, might as well grab the fishing rod. And actually, no, let's grab the swimming because I don't plan on doing any fishing on YouTube. These are very good, but I don't really take down too often, you know. Uh, once I've got my good weapons, I won't really take down very often. This is a very good one because it lowers your uh, the sand you make. Right, I'm going to quickly use this right here and have a look at some weapons. And then once that's done, we will uh, scavenge this place. I've got a bunch of loot I can sell as well. Yeah, see, quite a lot of stuff there. But we've got 150. Let's have a look. Can I craft anything good? Also, I can, have I got this equipped? Yeah, I think I do. I want to see if I can get some sort of sniper rifle. Is that a sniper rifle? Assault rifle. That's all right. Sniper rifle. 250 damage. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm going to save my resources for now because uh, it will cost a lot more later. Damn, that's a lot of money. I had to refill a lot of ammo then. Yeah, so we're going to uh, scavenge this place and then we're going to move on to the next, uh, we're going to move on to the next uh, location, the next outpost. And then from there, we'll probably go straight to Nick. Depends on how long it takes me to get to the next outpost. There's two there, though, that we can do. And then, uh, that, like I said, we should get, if we could do them all without being seen and then we scavenge them, we're going to get 200. So we could end it on like maybe 600, you know, and then we're going to be very well off in terms of like thing. I mean, we could try and take over this again. We, I mean, the, the biggest problem is if we get spotted, they're going to call an enforcer and taking down an enforcer with these weapons is not, not exactly the easiest thing to do. We'll, we'll give, we'll give it a quick go whilst I'm here. We'll give it a little go. If it goes wrong, then we won't bother. <laughs> if there's only... If there is only two alarms, I don't know if they saw me or not. I mean, once you use your saw blade, everybody in the world looks at you, so... Yeah, the music's gone really crazy, so they've probably seen me. I like it that he marks them all, you know, because then I could be ready to shoot them all. Just got to make sure no one sneaks up on me. I'd rather you take down that guy, to be honest. I think that person's got a flamethrower. Okay, there's going to be a lot of fire around here now. Shit. I don't want to be spotted, preferably. Is Timber still alive? Okay, good. 
Everybody probably isn't going to be marked, you know, so you have got to still be somewhat careful. At the moment, they're going to be focusing on timber. This is why I like bringing timber, because you can mark... Oh, God. It looks like somebody else has joined the battle. Hey, he stole their gun. No, don't bring it to me. Don't bring it to me. They'll know where I am. Don't do that. <laughs> that is adorable, that is. But I don't want you doing that. I don't know how much health Timber has got, so we want to be careful. Because if he goes down, then I'm going to have to try and revive him. Don't bark at him, just bite him. This is what I'm saying. As long as you can keep yourself ahead of the troops, you know. I think this might be the last... Oh, no. Oh, good job, Timber. I didn't know if you could take him down. This guy might be coming up to where I am. Is that the last one? Because if that is... Look at that! Beautiful! I'm not going to be able to do any more, though, because me and Timber are not going to be strong enough. Everybody is going to be, like, rank 3 now, so we can't push our luck. <laughs> but we're going to leave this as rank 2, and then we're going to move on to another one now. Because I know, I know this uh, might not necessarily... I mean, it is a bit fun to watch, but it might not necessarily be the funnest thing to see, you know, but... Uh, once I get it all done, we won't really have to do it anymore. I mean, look at that. We just got 300 ethanol, and now I'm going to get another 100, you know. So if we could do this on the other two as well, then we won't need to worry about doing any of these outposts for a while, you know. You should leave a few of them blue, but, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Once you've upgraded your uh, helicopter bit, the expedition bit, I think you could fast travel to anything on the map that's unfogged, you know. So if there's like a material location, you can fast travel to it. Use your wingsuit if you parachute in and then you can pretty much get anywhere, you know. Right, we're not going to do that now because it will be quite difficult because it's rank three, you know. Okay. The twin stuff is fighters have taken back the resort. Yeah, we already know, Kim. We're not stupid. Right, let's have a look then. So I guess this is going to be another outpost as well. How far away is it? Oh. Is that an eagle? I don't actually think I've seen any eagles in the game yet. Because uh, there's a trophy for skinning several different animals. And um, I think the two animals that I've not actually found yet are ducks. Which I think I have seen them, but I've not actually shot any of them. But eagles I've never seen. That is the first eagle I think I've seen in the game. If it was an eagle, I think it was. It sounded like an eagle. It was too big to be a duck. <laughs> it's not actually that far away. If this is an outpost, then it should be, we should be able to take this down very quickly. There is a, uh, a scavenger over there, but we're not going to worry about him. We're just going to let him do what he wants for now. Oh, we don't want to fight a bear. Just Quick. Okay, that was a bit close. Oh, what's that? Oh no, why is there a monstrous boar around here all the time? Just come with me, Timber, come with me. Let's not, let's not mess around. Oh look, it's the place we spent a lot of time at in the last video that ended like absolutely terribly. How much? I've got quite a lot of supplies, to be honest. I mean, in terms of weaponry, I'm not doing the best. But in terms of, like, supplies and medical uh, supplies, I'm doing pretty damn well. <laughs> so, uh, that's a benefit, I guess. Got someone over there telling me where treasure is. If you want to get perk points, treasure is a good way of doing it. Because you always get those free magazines, you know. And then whilst you're doing the uh, treasure mission, you might get a couple of other things, you know. Like, you might shoot an animal on the way to the location and then get some more points, you know. Or you might meet a bunch of baddies there and use a certain weapon, you know. That's why you should change your weapons around a bit because you get points for using them and that. I mean, I've probably talked about all of this stuff in Far Cry 5, but it's been like a year since I did Far Cry 5, you know. That's what I was saying. This game actually came out really quickly. I know it's not like a proper full-on, full-length Far Cry game, but they got this done so quickly and it's still a decent game, you know. Just not hum humongous in length, you know. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. It is another outpost. Empty Garden. I think I've done this one a few times. I think if I remember correctly, this might have been another pretty easy one. I'm not sure if I could go up here. I feel like every time I came up this bit here, I kept getting spotted. If we get seen, it ain't too bad, but at the same time, we get less ethanol. 
What I really want to do is, um, if you take down the alarm, like I said, there's only one on this difficulty. So if I take that down there, can I send you to attack the alarm? No. I mean, if I could let Timber do it all for me, I'm not going to complain, you know, because he gets more kills and then I, uh, I get new skills. As you can see, because he's like the top rank now, Did you get set on fire then? I do feel... Did I just get spotted? I'm not sure if I did. I'm going to quickly run to the alarm. <laughs> okay. So even though we've been spotted, we're still going to get uh, quite a few points. Ah, what now, bitch? Yeah, see? <laughs> Timber's still kicking butt. That was my own fault. I do apologise. I just don't like leaving Timber to do everything. I feel a little bit bad, you know. Leave him alone, you fucking asswipe. Who sets fire to a dog? What a bitch. You're supposed to be a lady. You're supposed to love animals. But because Timber is a top rank now, he shows me where all of the cool stuff is. Oh, what an ambush. <laughs> Good job, Timber. Lovely. Okay. So we're going to walk around this area now and we're going to have a little look, see what supplies are around, you know, because you do need to loot a lot of stuff, especially when you want to build the legendary weapons. They do cost quite a lot of stuff. The problem with the legendary weapons or the the rank 4 weapons or the enforcer weapons, it's whatever you want to call them really. Normally in most video games you've got green which is common, you've got blue which is rare, you've got purple which is uh, epic and then you've got uh, gold which is or orange which is legendary you know. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about supplies and that and weapon grades and things like that you know. But yeah, I forgot what I was going to say now. But yeah, one thing you do have to make sure is is a lot of the uh, stuff in this game, it, when it's like legendary, uh, there's the, the you need things like titanium, you know, and they're a lot more rarer. And you normally only find like one bit of titanium in a camp, you know. So you've got to make sure you search around all these outposts and things, you know. I don't know what that trophy is for. It might be for picking five locks, maybe. Or it's picking five safes. The only problem, I don't, the only thing I don't like about when you take over outposts is you obviously everybody vanishes, all the dead bodies. They're, like a couple of them stay left behind, but not many. Oh, oh, there's two safes in this place. There's normally only like one. <laughs> but when you've got um, when you've got Timber with you, if you've ranked him up where he's got 40 kills, he'll show you the locations of all the core cool supplies. You know all the important stuff. So uh, that's why, you see, I mean, you could take over the outpost with whoever you want, but then once you're done, quickly bring in Timber to sniff out all the good shit. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, did I leave them on the floor? What's that all about? But yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm going to take over this outpost again, I think. And then uh, once that's done, we're going to go and talk to Nick Ryan. I apologise if you find this boring, you know. It's just because, uh, obviously, I'm playing on a higher difficulty. And if I can get a lot of ethanol and I can get all the cool weapons now, then the rest of the story will be a breeze, you know. And then we can head over to New Eden and try and talk to Joseph and that. Lovely. See if I need to get any ammo. Oops. Oh. Oh, ammo is full, lovely. How much ethanol? I mean, I've got 761 ethanol, you know, so as I'm saying, I'm doing pretty well. And we're going to have over a thousand once we've done this. And then there's another one we can do as well on the way to Nick if we want to do a third one. I mean, I suppose we can do it, you know. It'd be nice to actually have a video where I just absolutely slaughter a bunch of outposts. Because in the previous few videos, when I have took over outposts, I've had a really rough time and constantly got killed. <laughs> It's probably because when, like, at the time of recording, I'm recording this on Tuesday, I spent a bunch of time on the weekend taking over outposts and just doing all of them in the game. So it's made me pretty good at doing them sneakily. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's nice. Well, Peggy Convent's been taken back by highwaymen. They'll call an enforcer if they see you. 
Yeah, that's why you've got to be careful on this difficulty and why I'm a little bit reluctant to do it. But like I said, well, we'll give it a go. There's going to be more alarms this time, so I've got to be a lot more careful. I mean, if... If... Um, if uh, you just run through the whole camp, didn't you? I mean, if... Um, if Timber can stay alive long enough... Yeah, we'll be alright, to be honest. I'll let him do it all himself. I just feel bad. I just feel like I shouldn't be letting him do it all. <laughs> Horatio is pretty good for this mission. Oh, God. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, go and attack them instead. Well, they've all got flamethrowers. Oh no, oh no. Did that count as a spotting? I think it did. If they call an enforcer, I'm just going to run away. I oh no. Alright, we're going to run away. I'm not going to have to deal with an enforcer. I'll just have to revive you in a minute, uh, Timber. I apologise. We're going to have to run quite far away, though, because uh, it, it's um, the radius of these outposts and all that is quite big. Once we run away and we go back, though, everybody is going to reset. Uh, it's because there was three flamethrower guys and I didn't see them, so obviously having three people shoot fire at you, not the best, not the best. <laughs> okay, I think that might be far enough now. Uh, what you used to, I mean, that is cr quite crazy, actually, that Timber is still alive. <laughs> Normally they die pretty fast. I think it depends, though, because when they're on the floor hurt, sometimes enemies will go up to them and just, like, smack them a few times. I mean, we could send... We could send Carmina in to do the dirty work, but she dies a lot quicker, and she doesn't seem to be as tough as, like, Boomer. I keep calling him Boomer, Timber, I mean. <laughs> it is Boomer in Far Cry 5, isn't it? Or am I just making up words for no reason? Alright, Boomer. Alright, look at him all burn. Come on, Boomer. Come on. Run away, run away, run away. We'll come back in a minute. But once we've done this outpost, we will uh, we will go and talk to Nick and we'll uh, do what he wants us to do and then we should be done. The Nick mission is very, very fast. That's why I'm focusing on just taking over a few outposts. Just wait for all of these little icons to vanish and then it should be reset. I mean, how many enemies are there? One, two, three, four. There we go. It should be all right now. It should reset now. I don't know how many there is. I think there might be about eight people in a in a outpost that hasn't been when you haven't been spotted. Because when I was playing this, uh, I was trying to do. A, I can't really talk about this trophy yet because it's a spoiler. But I was trying to do a trophy, and it required me like having ten enemies nearby. And unfortunately, there weren't any. You know, there was only like seven every time I attempted it. So it was a bit of a pain in the butt. Right, so I need to try and take down these flamethrower guys. Go away, bear. We're busy. See if there's anyone I can get from here. I mean, if he could sneak up on a flamethrower guy. There we go. If I could get the flamethrower guys down sneakily... He's just got to get to them before they spot him. Like, they've seen him now, so look, see, they're already burning him, that's the problem. Oh, crap, why he... oh, I can't get him. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, 
I don't want to reset it again. Oh, I just opened a cage. The problem is, taking down an enforcer is going to be quite difficult. I mean, we can do it, but it will be an unnecessary amount of supplies, you know. I mean, uh, I, I suppose I've got a couple of sticks of dynamite. <laughs> I mean, if that dude over there comes over. Here we go. Uh, don't, don't attack him. We don't want to attack him. We want to let... Oh, shit. All right. It looks like it's a rocket launcher of some sort. Enforcer? Or oh, is he not here yet? Does this, like, if I give you a stroke, will that make you feel better? Oh, look at him! That is horrible! Who barbecued you so much? Who does that to a dog? I'd rather get bitten. I think they might be bringing the Enforcer now. Oh no, he's up there, look. There he is. Oh crap, here we go. Is there two of them? Is that a second enforcer? Oh no, that's just a normal enemy. God, things are not going too smoothly with this one, are they? Oh fuck! He blew timber up. Quick, 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 quick. Alright, come on, Timber, that's it. There we go. He's gonna have some cool shit on him, I guess, you know, so it's not not the worst thing in the world. Get a bit of damage, you know. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh god! Fire everywhere! Jesus, he really wants to kill me. Right, Timber's distracting him. Dick! That's what you get! <laughs> I think that's for taking down our first enforcer, maybe. Okay, well, we're not going to get as much. We're going to lose out on 100 ethanol, so that's going to be a bit shit. Okay, right. So I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to um, I'm gonna buy some supplies. Oh, we've got 200. That's all right. I think the enforcers might always leave their bodies behind. Let's have a look. He was round here, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, his body is there. It seems like the enforcers seem to always have their bodies left behind. Probably because they have a lot of good stuff, you know. Taking down enforcers gives you a lot of good crap. But, obviously, at this, at this level of the game, you're not really supposed to be killing them. Especially on hard ass. <laughs> but we took one down like a couple of bad asses. Right, I'm just going to restock on ammo. And then we're going to go over to Nick once I sav it, uh, scavenge this place. Right, let's scavenge this place now. Okay, now we're going to go and help out Nick. I don't think the Nick mission takes very long, maybe like... Pff, I think maybe like five minutes, maybe? It's pretty very, pretty flipping quick. <laughs> Hello? 
Lovely. Right, well, we're not going to be doing that again, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll come back and do these at another time. Okay, let's go and help out the legendary Nick. Where's Boomer? Uh, where's, uh, where's me dog? Oh, what the hell happened to you? How did you die? Come on. I'm going to need you for this mission, Timber. We've got a bunch of people to take down. Whew. I wanted to make three videos today, but yeah, I'm only going to be able to record two because the one I just did before this one, like the video you would have watched a, a day or so ago, that uh, video... Obviously, it took 40 minutes, and I've only got an hour and 30, so if a video takes longer than 30 minutes, I'm only making I'm making one less video that day. So yeah, that was a bit of a pain in the butt. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of a use of our wingsuit. Not the biggest use, but I panicked a little bit and thought I was going to die. And I don't really want to die at the moment, because I'm in a bit of a hurry. I should have already ended the video, but as I can't make three videos, I might as well make it a bit longer, you know? Oh, that last shot was terrible. Thought I might have hit him in the butt. Okay. Nearly there now. Steady. Is Timber still with me? Yeah, he's, he's close enough. He's close enough. He's been a really good boy, though. Timber's been doing all the work for me at the moment, you know. It's just because he could take him down in one, and he also, if he gets spotted, there's no circumstances for it, you know. I'll get spotted, and then all hell breaks loose. Oh. Should I revive you? Nah. Okay, we need to get up in this bit right here. I don't know if they matter down there. Sake. What an arsehole, that's what you get. Oh, here we go, now it's going to be time to do this. <laughs> I love it, every time someone attacks the uh, dog, you just see a body rolling down the hill after. Oh crap, they're stronger. Oh, this ain't good. I've got a pipe bomb, and this is actually very strong, if I remember correctly. Oh, yes, it is. I don't know why they're all... I think I don't think I'm actually supposed to be rescuing these guys just yet. I feel like I'm doing this a bit out of order. <laughs> That's why it takes so many bullets. Like, normally they would be ruined if this was like a rank 3 weapon, you know? Come on, Boomer. Uh, I forgot. I keep calling him Boomer. I might just change his name. Come on, Timber. You've been a really good boy today. I, I apologise for the death. Hey, there he is. It's old Nicky. All right, Nick, one minute. I just got to nick all your supplies. Lovely. There you go. Yep, yeah. yeah, lovely. Yep, yeah, this'll do. This'll do nicely. Don't, don't mind me, Nick. Don't mind me. Just taking your stuff, you know. You don't need it. You don't need it. Oh, here we go. Here's the other one. Lovely. All right, Nicky, how you doing, mate? Come stand over here. Shit. Look at that handsome beast. Thank you. Thank you so damn much. You don't understand. I've been trapped here for months. See, the highwaymen dragged me out to this camp, and they had me working on stuff for the twins. I need to get back home. I got a getaway ride all ready to go. Come on, let's get moving before more of those sons of bitches show up. 
Name's Nick, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, buddy. I already know who you are, but you don't remember me, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, I've got to follow him for a bit now. I don't think there's going to be any kinds of issues. Oh, hell yeah, ain't it? One of their guns. Good man, good man. At least we, we know you're willing to fight. <laughs> Unlike the other characters in this game. Hell yeah! Oh, good old Nick. Come on then, on your way. Let's get my Molotovs out, just in case. What's that? What are you brutalising? What did you just do? What the hell? Who did you just shoot? What the heck? Oh crap! <laughs> Useless! I don't have uh, Timber with me at the moment because I've got this guy with me instead because it's the mission. <laughs> you just got owned by a bloody Wolverine or something. <laughs> what? what a pussy! I guess you've gotten too old for this, ain't ya, uh, Nick? Oh damn, I thought he killed that woman. I wondered what the hell he was doing. I thought he'd gone mad. <laughs> Come on, it's just up ahead. You see it jump up in the air then? That was cute. Sorry I killed you, but you know, I need the supplies. Fly in Nick's wingless plane. <laughs> okay. Lovely. So you ain't got any wings on this plane, you just gotta pretty much use it as a boat for now. There is a working gun on the front, and I don't if I remember correctly, there might be <laughs> there might be like barrels in the water that you need to dodge. Sort of like in Crash Bandicoot 3 when you do the ski levels, the jet ski levels. You have to dodge those poxy bombs everywhere. Seems to be a little bit like that. I, mean, I don't know if there's any like uh, peggies or whatever you want to call them or highwaymen. Oh no, they're not peggies, are they? Peggies are like the uh, Joseph Seeds lot. Damn it. Clear the way. Don't need to clear the way. <laughs> I don't need to clear the way. A oh, boff! Oh crap, oh no, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Was I supposed to go on the pathway? I swear I followed the lake when I did this on my own. Unless you could have a, unless you've got a choice. Oh no, I don't, I don't think I went, oh shit, I don't think I went this way when I did this on my own. I think I just stuck to the water. Yeah, well, we're back in the water now, but I don't remember ever doing that bit. Or maybe I've just got short-term memory loss. <laughs> We've got quite a bit of health left. I don't even if you have the repair torch. I don't think I've got. Uh, I don't think you can get out of the plane anyway. So even if you do have the repair torch, I don't think you can get out and fix the plane. You just gotta do well, I guess. Oh, oh, that was nice. Got a nice. Got to love a nice explosion, ain't ya? I don't know if these boats have got any baddies in them, so I'm just shooting at them for now. Oh crap, here we go. I really ain't got the time to, uh, to mess up, to be honest. I really don't have the time. And also, for some reason, it's not letting me heal, and it's also not letting me make any... Uh... Oh, this might be a problem. It isn't letting me make any medical kits. So if I, if I get shot too much, I'm going to end up dead. <laughs> so, not the best. Damn, take that. I've nearly given up. Never thought I'd get away from those goons. And believe me, I've tried. I once knocked two of them down with a torque wrench before they ganged up on me. Said if I ever tried anything like that again, they'd kill my family. Only good thing that came out of that was here and they're still alive. It's been so long since I've been home. Since we've been all together. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. 
Oh, so he was kidnapped for months and he was kept prisoner away from, like, Kim and that. I did wonder why Kim never mentioned Nick. I've been wondering that. <laughs> Alright then. I ain't gonna have to drive you to prosperity, am I? What's a cow doing in here? Get out of the barn! Well, it's not even a barn. <laughs> I think it takes you straight back to prosperity now. I don't think you have to drive there. I could be wrong though. But yeah, once we get back here, I'm gonna end it for today. And then in the next video, we will do a bit of upgrading in the camp and that. And get some new weapons if possible and stuff like that, you know? Let's do this. Carmina? Do you know where my wire cutters are? Kim. You know I put them here somewhere. Hold on. Oh, they were just here. You lose something, darling? Hey, baby. Hey, you know, if you're busy, I could always come no. back. No. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Thank you. Great escape completed. Lovely. Now we've got all of the specialists in prosperity. And once we've done a bit more upgrading, then the Rye Union. I see what they did there. But once we've got all of the um, thingies, majigs, all of the uh, places upgraded quite a bit, then uh, this place will become a new homestead. Oh, look. Someone's got a side mission. Oh, uh, I already know what that's going to be. Never mind. That's going to be to rescue Gina. Well, we'll talk to him next time. But yeah, I'm going to end the video now. Wolf and Wolf these last two videos have been a bit longer. Hopefully you've enjoyed them. Sorry that part, I think it was part eight. It might have been part eight. Yeah, it should be part eight if I'm thinking correctly. Sorry that that video was a bit boring. I sort of just ran around in the woods for the whole bloody video. So I do apologize about that. Hopefully it was still somewhat en enjoyable. I did talk about a few things and that. A few tips and tricks about the game. But yeah, other than that, it was probably pretty boring. So I do apologize. Hopefully this video was much better. We did some outpost onslaught and we, re we rescued Nick. <laughs> but thanks for watching, Wolf of Wets. Hopefully you enjoyed these videos. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!